Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Courtney if you don't know me already and on my channel I react to sport videos, military videos and drum corps international videos and other stuff as well but mostly surrounding America so if you want to get a New Zealander's perspective on any of those things definitely hit that subscribe button down below. In today's video we are checking out Vince Carter, the greatest dunker ever. Again this is my full reaction. I've never heard of Vince Carter before and you guys might be like oh my god like how have you not heard of Vince Carter before look I just didn't grow up watching basketball okay that's why I have my reaction channel so let's see what I think about Vince Carter so let me know what you guys think down below what do you guys think of Vince Carter is he overrated or not let me know down below and let's get into the video How do you decide what you want to do when you go up in the air, you know, what kind of dunk you're going to do? Vince Carter is widely recognized as the greatest dunker ever. Half man, half amazing. Oh shit. It always puts into perspective when you see it at full speed, Take me right? back to the beginning. Who introduced you to the game of basketball? My uncle Oliver Lee played at Marquette. He put a basketball in my hand at two years old. From his earliest days, Vince Carter oh, was a must-see attraction. The ball is Vince almost Carter, as big as him. Mr. Basketball, State of Florida. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. When you dunk the basketball in sixth grade. One leg, one hand, dunk. Sixth grade. <laughs> he just brings everything to life. This is Vince Carter, 6'6", six, six, and a flyer. Flying through the air like a man unleashed from gravity. Oh my god. And this was in high school. You had a music scholarship. I did. You turned that down. I had to. I was, I was flattered. He had the athleticism and the range. Wow. as well just give him a frequent flyer card because he owns the airways right now. <laughs> he owns the airways. Oh a great my performance God. by a great player who is 332 away from the like team shit. stream. Named Mr. Basketball boy, and for good reason. Led his team to the state championship this year. In high school, he was a Parade Magazine, USA Today, and McDonald's All-American. Mr. Basketball in the state of Florida led his club to the 6A state championship. Boy, is he a leaper. And I got to tell you, the crowd is standing. They have people down on the behind the bench here that are standing to watch this guy. Wow. And he gets a perfect row of tens from the judges. This is his curtain call. Look at the spread. Look at the height. Yeah. Yeah, he is something to behold. Wow. Carolina came on in the picture late as far as recruiting. Carter led Mainland High School to the state title as a senior. His mom's a styling in the morning. He got a key to the city. At night, he rocked the city. In fact, Willis, I think, has dubbed him the human highlight film part two. His outstanding college play propelled him into the national consciousness. He was right. He was right as soon as I stepped on campus, as soon as I met Coach Smith. As was the trend at that time. Damn! Every new phenom was instantly typecast as the next Jordan clone. They all he must questions. be real tall. But the latest look-alike most closely profiles the infant Mike. Tar Heel pedigree. Attending the same college as Jordan did little to quiet those comparisons. Nor did his aerial acrobatics. MJ is often imitated, never duplicated. With the fifth pick in the 1998 NBA draft, the Golden State Warriors select oh. Vince Carter from the University of North Carolina. 1998. First round, 
Fifth pick, selected by the Golden State Warriors. Now he shot threes at a 40% clip, and yet no one talks about that during his career at North Carolina. We had no idea what was going to happen. Of course, the draft night and all that to be said, we were traded for each other like five minutes in between. So. To trade it for your teammate, the business of basketball. <laughs> Antoine Jameson. Yes. Toronto has traded the rights to Antoine Jameson to Golden State for the rights to Vince Carter plus cash consideration. Uh, oh kind of my God. To the business of basketball. I did not know they could the do Raptors that. The Raptors were an expansion wow. team. Only four years old. Talk about oh my God. We're going to Canada. Without Vince Carter, there may not be a team in the, in Toronto. Sure. That, that is legitimate. They'd struggle oh with God. signing and keeping stars. Vince Carter put this team on the map in the U.S. across the NBA. I get there, and to my surprise, it's one of the best kept secrets. Tonight's starting lineup presented by Gatorade. There you see Carter. Fan interest was low, but Vince turned that around immediately. Flashing the other way is Carter. He could bring any arena to its feet in one breathtaking moment, elevating the franchise from obscurity to selling out. Raptors standout rookie Vince Carter got the better of Celtics standout rookie Paul Pierce, outscoring him by 19. Soaring through the air, carrying the mantle of Dr. J. Yeah. Whoa, perfect timing. Put the franchise around. For me, I had a, a dunk list that I never showed anybody, but it's like all the great shot blockers. I bet he never thought he would be going to Canada. You want to mark him off. Just a great accomplishment in your career. Not too many times like but you see a guy. 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, who jumps like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, incredible. It's crazy. It's crazy. CN Tower, but the rookie phenom is pretty darn close. Starting to win and starting to get good players there. T Max there. My cousin's there. It's just like you can't beat that. The youngster and Tracy McGrady straight out of high school a couple of years ago. We just found out that we were cousins the summer before his his first year. Ooh, these two could be a problem for years to come. Trying to get a chance to play two years. Tracy McGrady, another rebound. Have you thought about you and Team Mag if y'all to play longer? We've talked about it. Carter McGrady! <laughs> Have they stayed together is one of the great what if questions in basketball history. Do you remember a point last year where you realized, well, not only do I belong here, but I can flourish here? Probably just in the end when I got the dunk, what they call the dunk. The dunk. Oh! become must-see TV. He earned the Rookie of the Year award. I'm just, I'm gonna try to live up to all the other Rookie of the Years and, and try to have a great career. Uh, he's the best player I've seen since my, uh, You know, and Allen's nice and Kobe's nice and Shaq's the most dominant, but this is the most excite, exciting show in town. This is a circus. And now comes a player, Vince Carter, and everyone's comparing him to Michael Jordan, and that's a tough cross to carry. Yeah, it is indeed, Fred. The thing I'm really impressed with is that he's carried over his, his level of play to his second year. A lot of people talk about the sophomore jinx. There is none mm. in the life of Vince Carter. Air Canada was ready for liftoff. It was nearly one month ago when Air Canada touched down in Los Angeles. Are you kidding me? Wow. I think I'll make the highlight reels tonight, John. Scoring 34 points. And the Raptors' first ever win over the Lakers in Los Angeles. Wow. Five minutes, rattles it down. This is the second. Carter calls a timeout. McGrady will make the pass. McGrady looking, looking, looking. Carter's going to get a shot off. Beats the buzzer. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! 
In the year 2000, Carter announced his arrival to the world in what would become arguably the greatest dunk contest performance ever. This guy was doing stuff Thank back you. in the day these kids still can't do to this day. I really thought the top was going to come off of the building. I have never seen that before. Here is the man that this crowd wants to see. 2000? Oh my god, can you believe 20 years this ago? This is what everybody's been waiting for. It's the climax of the night, and we're going to see what Vince Carter can really do. And right here is Vince Carter with his first. Dad. I was in another world. I felt like Mario just powered up. Super Mario. Boy. <laughs> Let's go home. Let's go home. <laughs> Let's go home. Let's go home. This building just exploded. You dunk it and put your arm. The greatest dunker ever was Vince Carter. Vince Carter. I might, I might have to go with Vince Carter also. Over Michael. That was a dream of mine. A lifelong dream. Holy Being crap. This was a lifelong dream. I wasn't afraid to fail. Holy crap. Oh, Holy crap. It's over. Holy it's crap. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness gracious. It is over. You remember the reactions of Shadow, KG? People like, well, damn. I mean, you talk about guys who've seen dunk contests. Sure. Before. Seen you dunk. Mm -hmm. It was just different. Surprising absolutely no one. Vince Carter won. <laughs> you, you and Vince? You think you would have gotten it? No. <laughs> Why? No, I will enter into things that I know I can win. <laughs> <laughs> man. Vince Carter, he's been virtually unstoppable in the past two weeks since the All-Star break. Doug, there's been so much hype surrounding Vince Carter over the last month, and amazingly, he's lived up to it. Oakley to bring it in with 30 seconds on the clock. Straight to Carter. Wow, let's go. Slapping it down with authority. All the dunks, you see him doing the dunk contest, he'll do in the game. It's, it's a rush. It's just that feeling. You want to stick your chest out and feel good. And then the fans, home or away, the oohs and ahs and the cheers. I mean, that's that's what it's all about. That's what the game is about. So long. Hey, let's go. The fans got what they wanted. <laughs> Make it 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 by today, two. Toronto will bring it to midcourt with a second and a half to go. It's not over here. Oh my god. This will be the man coming out of this timeout. They can win it with a three. They can tie it with a two. A second and a half They'll to go. They'll get a three. No In a 2001 playoff matchup against Philadelphia, Vince Carter exploded. But also he can shoot. That's, That's the one the thing. thing about his yeah. game people slept on. He can shoot that three ball. What a start for him. He has 10 points, including two threes. He rained threes at a record clip. Five for five. Finishing with an all-time NBA playoff record, eight three-pointers in a single half. With an NBA playoff record for most three-point baskets in a half. Air Canada made its way to Australia to compete in the Olympics. Oh! Sydney! <laughs> Frederick Bikes, the Olympics 2000. Oh, He'll buddy. forever be known. <laughs> you, know, you ruined his life. So in the Olympics, for those who don't know, I jumped over a seven foot two guy in, in the game. With one of the most iconic dunks in the history of the game. <laughs> the other guy was like, what the heck just happened? That's Vince Carter got them fired up. He was now an Olympic gold medalist. Carter has now scored 20 or more points in 17 straight games. That's the longest streak in the NBA this season. And that's what the 
people in Edmonton wanted to see. What do we call A new it? human highlight reel. Carter was a star among stars. So much speed going up to that basket. That, that sweet spot, and when you roll, you roll. With Vince continuing to mature, the Raptors were becoming a formidable force in the East. Fifteen years ago, an NBA player's worst nightmare was not merely getting dunked on by Michael Jordan; it was being immortalized in a poster getting dunked on by Michael Jordan. Now the poster has been passed. Air Jordan has turned into Vince Sanity. And the view from down here is equally intimidating. You have to say that he's the next thing close to MJ. Garnering shoe deals and endorsements. Michael, you know, meant a lot for the NBA. And I think right now Vince is that same type of commodity. He's very athletic as Michael was. Vince has exploded on the scene. Oh, he threw the body and flipped it and in. His game is just so explosive. 11 on the shot clock. Vince driving out over Stackhouse. He had four people on him. He had four people on him. Half man, half amazing. Alvin Williams swings it right side. Carter at the foul line. All that. What? Oh, with a right-handed monster jam. He just posterized Tim Duncan. Fair man. I got so little help, and you got so much. <laughs> He's got a cute laugh. the ball, run the fast break, Vince Carter was on one end, and Jesus was on the other one. I had to throw it to Vince Carter. To the 20. 14 seconds remaining in regulation. Crossover! Oh my god. That's cool. That's cool, man. And the final score, Raptors 101, Blazers 97. But behind the scenes, Carter was feuding with Raptors management. Injuries had continued to mount, and Carter was playing less and less frequently. They felt like he was on the training table just as much, if not more, than the basketball court. And Sam Mitchell made a comment to Vince about always being injured and always being on the training table resulting in a confrontation where Carter body slammed his coach after he suggested Vince's injuries were overblown. Boom! There ain't nothing you could do about it. But oh. obviously their relationship was never the same at that point. Oh my goodness. Yikes. I am a Jedi. Skywalker! Vince Carter! Unbeknownst to everyone watching that day, this would be the final time Vince Carter played for Toronto. Oh no. And we've got a, a player down oh on no. the floor. Is that Carter? It's Vince Carter. The rumblings of Vince Carter wants out. The Raptors want to trade Vince Carter. Rather unceremoniously, Carter was traded to the New Jersey Nets. Last year, before you get traded to the Nets, things kind of get ugly in Toronto. The trade happens and it's like, oh, Vince didn't work or well, want to be here and so on and so forth. Just the hatred. Vince Carter was about a month into getting used to his new club, the New Jersey Nets. His trade from Toronto bringing an unhappy VC back to the States while igniting a great deal of speculation as to how much effort he always gave north of the border. Could they have made a worse trade? I mean, are you kidding me? No, no, you look at it. You get traded to New Jersey. The old Vince Carter started to come back. Oh, so that was the last game he played for motivated. Toronto. Carter's high-flying act re-emerged. A lot of people are saying because of the injuries, your career was on the downside, but you go to the Nets and you seem to get rejuvenated. He lead by five, Vince Carter driving past nice. Oh, yes, a jackknife dunk for Vince Carter. That he can do. Carter spins. Finishes plus Beautiful. the foul. Or was it a combination of all? What can you put your finger on it? Because it, it, it went back to Vince having fun. Vince playing above the rim. Carter with a hammer 
dunk off a great one bounce from Kidd. Since you were player of the month in December, 51 points against Miami. Over the top of O'Neal. How high you got to get to get that over Shaq. Well, it's a new season high for Vince. He has 39 points. Again, Alonzo Mourning changing a shot. <laughs> How about that slam dunk from Vince Carter? What body control and what power by Carter? I just wanted to prove to, to everyone, like, I still got it. Now Carter has 51 points in the game. So one of the great games ever turned in by a New Jersey net. I got the opportunity to play with him, and even when I got to play with him, he was far greater, far more athletic than anything I could imagine. Oh, no. It goes what? Carter returned to Toronto to a sea of booze. From North Carolina. Why? Because of all the shit that went down. And boo back in Toronto. I don't think any player has ever been booed like that that, that night. People people hate Vince so deeply because they loved him. But it would be Vince who had the last laugh. Five seconds to go in regulation. Over the time oh, oh my god, no! Dang for Toronto right Comes now. Arguably his best seasons with the Nets, playing alongside Jason Kidd. Oh! oh my! Hayes deflected. Carter goes back to get it. Three seconds left. Carter with two seconds. It's going up. Amen. It. Vince Carter has done it. Nets win in overtime. A three at the buzzer. Four, three, kid. Oh my goodness. Score the basket. It's a two. Vince Carter. As he aged, Carter's game became increasingly well-rounded. Oh. Right by Marco. Fans on their feet. Bench having too good of a time. In the clutch, he found ways to impact the game. One point set to play. What kind of look is it going to be? No matter how old he got, Carter's ability to slam it at any time never diminished. With 22 years experience, Vince Carter is the longest tendered player in league history. 22 years! How have I never heard of him before? That's just sad, Courtney. For the first time since he left, the guy they used to call Air Canada has been cheered loudly. Vince, thousands of players have reached the NBA over its entire history. None of them have played in 22 seasons. That changes when you check into the game tonight. That's truly amazing. Magnificence one more time. In 2018, Carter became just the 22nd player to ever reach 25,000 points. <laughs> Fittingly, it came on a dunk against the Raptors, the team where it all started. He's done so much for international basketball, especially here in North America. And just look, he is and was a global superstar. 
Now here's what he deserves, a statue in Toronto. Agreed. He deserves that. After 22 years in the league, he is best remembered for his days in Toronto. He pretty much revived or birthed that franchise. It's also time to forgive and move on because of everything else that he did for the Raptors and for Canadian basketball. Look at the rest, Hunty. A five-time All-Star and a legend. Oh! <laughs> <Bad>. <laughs> Everyone else just stands there watching him because they Nobody don't know what's going on. on. Nobody. Make it so. Oh. Yo! <laughs> How have I never, ever heard of him? I, I, I must be living under a rock. Like I said at the start of the video, like, you know, I didn't watch basketball growing up. I didn't really pay attention to any of the players apart from like Michael Jordan, I guess, Kobe Bryant, rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. But yeah, not, I don't know like a lot of the players. So I guess that's just why I didn't know. But wow, 22 seasons in the NBA. Um, when he fell down and when he was injured, I thought like that was his last game ever. I thought he was done and I was like, oh no, it's another one of these stories where the athletes have like, they're at the peak of the game, hunty, and then they get injured and it's like, it's like the worst end to the story, you know, but I'm pleasantly surprised that he kept going with his career and he could overcome his injuries. It's amazing to hear very um unusual i think i think it's so easy for athletes to get injured um in different ways of course but in basketball since they are so tall have a lot of knee problems or like ligaments and stuff like that um, because they are so tall and um, when they go down they go down hard you know so let me know what you guys think about Vince Carter let me know what you guys think about this video I thought this was a really really well done video very well rounded video and I could really learn about his history and what he did for different franchises including the Toronto Raptors I had no idea that um you know this was kind of how the Raptors were kind of born I know they were there for four years before he was transferred it was kind of a lackluster team and wasn't going well and um of course now I think when was it last year or the year before or the year before I don't remember but Toronto won the entire championship so they've come a long way and who knows they might not have gotten this far without Vince Carter um in that fourth or fifth year when he was um, brought there. So um, really, really, really interesting video. Thank you so much to the people who have recommended this video. I really, really appreciate it. If you do have a recommendation, definitely head over to my website where you can make recommendations on there. If you can, if you can think of any basketball videos, any football videos, any um, sports players in general, definitely, um, leave the recommendation on there. I'm looking for more sport videos to react to and I'm dwindling down. It's like, it's hard to get a video when I don't know the athletes, you know? I don't know which is a good one to watch. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. I really, really appreciate you being here. Hopefully you can subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.